Hi, my name is Jeff Tucker. I'm an equine veterinarian, and I want to take a moment to talk to you about the essentials of equine dentistry. Your horse chews a lot, and if your horse is chewing, his teeth need doing. It's one of the new expressions that I've come up with to make us realize how important it is to take care of the horse's teeth. But most people don't realize that. So let me do a little bit of math for some of you guys out there who aren't afraid of numbers. A horse chews approximately 25,000 times a day. So somewhere between 10,000 and 40,000 times a day, the average is 25,000. That's been researched, but a lot of you will say, gosh, that sounds like a lot of chews. So let's do a little bit of math. There are 60 seconds in a day, pardon me, in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. So if you multiply 60 times 60 times 24 hours, we come up with 86,400 seconds in a day. So if each chew takes a second, there's only 25,000 seconds being consumed, so about a third of the day is spent chewing, and two-thirds of the day is spent doing something else. But yet, it's still a third of the day. Now, you and I, as humans, chew approximately 2,000 times a day, according to my dentist. So, we don't chew as much. So, let's do a little bit more math. If a horse chews 750,000 times in a day, in 30 days, he's going to chew 750,000 times. 750,000 times is more than you and I chew in a year. 2,000 times 365 days is less than 750,000 chews. If you multiply that by six months, you're at four and a half million. And in, and in 12 months, you're at, you're at nine million chews in a year. That's a lot of chewing. And with each chew comes a lick because the chewing process involves the tongue. In fact, I challenge you to find anybody else out there doing dentistry who even talks about the tongue and how important it is in the dentistry process. The tongue orchestrates the movement of the bolus of food from the front to the back where it can be swallowed. It helps form it by moving and manipulating it in between the teeth and then the teeth come down and crush it. In the meantime, the tongue is moving out of the way so it doesn't get crushed with the food. That's a hugely orchestrated movement that you and I don't even think about nor does the horse. And on top of that, the tongue has to move around the, the mouth to clean it up, to move the saliva around, to, to uh, get the really bad things out of there, and also stimulate the um, teeth to become strong and healthy in their sockets. Because older horses that don't move their tongue, get their teeth loose. And I've seen dozens and dozens of horses at 25 and, and older whose teeth rattle when you float them. Yet two months later when you come back, they're firm in their sockets. All because the tongue can now move around the oral cavity and push these teeth and create a, a stimulate a strong uh, uh, bond. This is some of the stuff I like to teach in Essentials of Equine Dentistry. And I know you spend a lot of money and a lot of time working with your horse, going to your shows or working your horse on your ranch or just enjoying your horse. Uh, at, or maybe he's a ba she is a baby factory out on a broodmare farm or a stallion waiting to service the mares in the spring. I don't know, but every one of them, it doesn't matter where you're located, what farm you're on, what your purpose in life is, if you're in here or in Africa or in Asia, it really doesn't matter because every horse I know chews. And as long as they're chewing, their teeth need doing. Because nine million times a day, the tongue is going out and in. And that movement of the tongue drops the tooth. It's like the word stop with an R. It's what we used to do with our razors. We'd go back and forth on a leather strap and it'd be called stropping the razor. And that's how we sharpen our steel uh, razors. Well, that's what the tooth does. As it rubs against the, the tongue, the tongue sharpens those teeth into razor's edge. That's what creates all these sharp edges. And then you add on top of that the threshold of pain. Is a horse a wimp or is he a tough guy? Because the wimps can't take much of that. And then you put a bit in their mouth or a double bit in a double bridle if you're in dressage or polo and you're asking this horse to respond to you and he can't because it hurts. That's when dentistry becomes very important. But even if it's not obvious, even if you're looking at your horse and he seems to be chewing just fine and he's fat and happy, doesn't mean that years from now, doing 9 million chews every year isn't going to take its toll if those sharp edges prevent the normal movement of the mouth and the normal movement of the tongue. These are some of the essential things that we have to know as horse owners to become advocates for a horse through the essentials of equine dentistry. So I've got a ton of 
<clears throat> information in this course, I'd love for you to just sign up and just take care of it. If you don't like it, let me know within 30 days. I'll give you your money back. And if you want to move on and become an equine dentist and actually go into the school, I'll make sure that this is part of your enrollment fee. But for every horseman out there, it doesn't matter where you are or who you are or what your horse does, knowing the essentials of equine dentistry is so important. And that's why I put this course together. So please go ahead and click and download it or enroll in it. And um, if you haven't gotten the booklet yet, get that too, because the booklet will really help you get a, a good handle of what's going on. But the course dig digs deeper into it. So enjoy uh, reading the rest of this page. Look at the syllabus down below and then um, go ahead and sign up. I look forward to seeing you in our school. Thanks. This is Doc T and have a great day.